Are you looking for your next opportunity? Have you heard networking is the best way to find a job, but you're not sure who to connect with? Then this video is for you. In this video, we'll be discussing who exactly to connect with to find your next opportunity. If you're a returning subscriber, glad to have you back. If you're new, hello and welcome. I'm Luki and I make videos on what you didn't know you needed to know about jobs, careers and life. Subscribe to stay up to date. Yes, yes, if you subscribe, you've already heard this, but I still gotta do it in case someone new is watching. Camera to a little down. Better? More? Yeah. <laughs> now let's get on with the video. So you're willing to put in the effort to network and build meaningful connections, but don't know who to start with? Well, let's do four things. Start with what you want, talk to Frank, join events, and then leverage LinkedIn. And then obviously make sure to reflect, learn, and improve. That's not four things. <laughs> Let's do five things. First, take some time to understand what you want. Do you have any particular roles, companies, or industries in mind? Perhaps you're connecting to find your future career path. If you don't have specifics, at least have directional areas so that the people you're connecting with can see if they have any information or connections that might be relevant for you. Both broad and specific details can be helpful. Now, you might think broad areas would be best to capture more opportunities. And I've had many times when someone asked me for something specific and it stood out so that when someone mentions it again, you make a connection. One time, someone was importing gluten-free flour and asked if they knew any distributors. It seems quite random, but it stuck out. Then a short conversation later, someone who ran a restaurant was looking to start a line of gluten-free noodles and dumplings and was looking to switch flour suppliers. Quite the coincidence. Will that happen all the time? No, though it happens more often than you think. You don't have to be crystal clear with your wants, and the more you can share, the more connections could be made. Once you know or at least have an idea of what you want, consider starting with who you know. Talk to Frank. Frank is an acronym for friends, relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, and kids. Not typically the kids, though the parents of the kids. These are examples of what are called strong ties. You might connect with them on a regular basis, though do they know you're looking for opportunities or what specific opportunities that you're looking for? Sharing those key ideas can help tune their radar. While you might think that strong ties are what's helpful, it's really the weak ties, which are the connections of your connections that tend to be more helpful. If strong ties can help, they probably already have. Weak ties, on the other hand, don't interact with you as much and they're part of different circles and connect with different folks who have different opportunities. Connect with your strong ties to connect with your weak ties and see where they go. If any of Frank are weak ties, then you can cultivate them into stronger ties. Next, go into platforms like Eventbrite or Meetup to attend events and meet others. They can be added in the A of your Frank and perhaps eventually become an F for friend if you become lucky. You can also check out associations in your area of interest. There's likely a certifying organization or some sort of collective. It could be based on your function like HR or project management, or based on your geography, or based on your industry. These are people interested in what you want to be doing. Often one person connects you to two, who connects you to two more, and so on. Before we continue, if you found this video helpful, join the Focus Inspired Academy, which is our gym for career confidence. Go deeper into these concepts and apply them through group coaching to help you accelerate your career success. Check the link in the description box below for a free one month trial for supporting the channel. Next, LinkedIn is one of my go-to platforms in order to network. You can search for people doing the roles that you want in the industries you're interested in and the companies that you're looking for or any other areas of interest. There are hundreds of millions of people on the platform, so you'll probably have a large search result depending on how niche your area of interest is. You can filter by geography to make the number more manageable. Consider also searching by school for any alumni. Those connections automatically have something in common with you, having been in the same school. When you have some search results, I like to open up the first page instead of connecting with every single one of them top to bottom. Sometimes the search results are right on, sometimes they give you some false positives. Take a look at that person's profile and see what you're interested in. Do they have something written in their about section that is interesting to you? Maybe something in their experience, maybe a volunteer organization they're connected with, maybe some certifications, courses, projects, or something else that they're involved with. You're looking to connect with people of interest, people whose job you want, people who are doing interesting things or have previously done interesting things in the past. They could be at your peer level, 
at your senior level, or they could even be at a junior level for someone you could potentially help and add value to and share your own experiences. Then send a polite connection request with a personalized message on your area of interest and set it and forget it. Have zero expectations that they'll respond and be pleasantly surprised when they do. If they accept, continue the conversation and engage with them. Build some rapport first, perhaps ask for advice, perhaps ask for resources or connections. Be curious, interested, and look to add value. And you'll find that opportunities start coming to you. Spend time to build those meaningful connections and perhaps turn some to coffee or virtual chats. Follow up with them over time and make them quality connections versus quantity connections. Keep in mind that when you're waiting for the quality to develop, then that's when you go for quantity. Next, as you're engaging in conversations, take time to reflect and learn. What is it about what they said that resonated with you? Did they suggest any resources for you to look up? Books to read, blog posts to look out for, podcasts to listen to, videos to watch? Follow the advice that makes sense to you. Take the learnings and bring that with you to the next conversation. Continue building those meaningful connections and incubating those relationships. And remember the expression, the more you give, the more you receive. And it starts with giving before you receive. That should give you a good list of people to connect with as you go on your networking journey to find your next opportunity. Start with what you want, talk to Frank, join events, leverage LinkedIn, and make sure you reflect, learn, and improve. If you found this video helpful, give this video a like as it helps reach a wider audience who might be interested in this video. Let me know if you have any questions or what you're struggling with in your job search or career, and feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips on jobs, careers, and life. And YouTube recommends that you check out these videos next.